hello everyone uh, welcome back to the another new tutorial and today i'm going to show you how you can do a proper camera track in new and how to do the uh, proper scene scaling and then you can export this file into your favorite 3d package and you can do some 3d work in my server one of the artists is asking about you know do a proper tutorial about camera tracking and scene scaling uh, with uh, some you know some difficult uh, shot so this shot have a lot of movement a lot of ca camera shake and it has a character in the middle of the frame and we see a lot of parallax so i thought this shot is good for the demonstration let me show you the output so this is the output with the proper scene scaling and you can see the characters there the all the points cloud and everything so this camera track is not perfect but the point of this tutorial is to show you the uh, scene scaling scene orientation let me just show you the so it's very simple uh, i just did a camera track and did a scene scale and just rendered through scan render i will provide this geo okay so this human scale geo uh, this is very important so if you have this kind of geo so you can easily scene scale based on the human because we know so this uh, character is six feet tall based on this you can properly scene scale any of your shot because you have a scene scale reference so this character and this is a usd asset i exported this uh, from houdini so in the project i will provide this uh, geo also so you can use this uh, for your reference okay let's get started so i have this shot and this shot is pretty long actually i can show you the short length so this had this uh, this kind of you know camera movement so i don't want to include this one because uh, you can definitely track this one we just need to do some manual tracking in this section i just want to show you the quick camera track and the proper scene scaling and then we can wrap up the tutorial so let me just take a new camera tracker i will go uh, step by step and i will show you how i do a camera track all right so we have this uh, newly camera track uh, let me just see what we have in the clip so in the clip metadata let me go here and see what we have you need to add as much information in this camera track so camera track can identify about the shot and it can track this properly uh you can see in the metadata i don't think we have much information here instead of this apple prores and you know they exported from nuke 13 and mov rx09 but we need a camera data okay so for that you can go to the action vfx website so you can go here and uh, you can just search that clip so this is the shot okay let's see uh we have the information about the camera and everything so we can add that information in in our camera tracker node okay so you can see they are providing some information there are some information here related to the camera for example uh, the camera they used a uh, red 8k and this is the color space they use and the model and uh, the shutter and the aperture and the focal length see we have the information about the focal length so we can enter the focal length and uh, what else we have uh, let's see uh, so they mention it uh, the camera so this is a red camera raptor and you can search the uh, the sensor size of this camera uh, but for now i will just add the 35 millimeter focal length and what else we have we have a shutter space lens and the shutter speed and resolution and all, all of the stuff for now i will just add the 35 millimeter uh, lens so we'll go to new and in the camera tracker node uh i will tell the yeah it's i know i know the focal length is 35 so i will just add 35 and what else you can add uh, you can tell this is distorted or undistorted no lens distortion and just disable this one okay i will leave it the default and let's go to the setting here and let's preview the points so you can see the points uh in real time okay this is just a preview and i will add point like 300 here i will leave everything default i'm not gonna do any changes here and uh, auto track all these stuffs are good you can add manual track and everything is good uh, as of now let's do the track and see uh, this is like a 120 frame shot okay and see how uh, good camera track is doing so in the ideal scenario we need to stencil out this character but for now i'm not doing it because uh, after this tracking i will you know do some uh, filtering to remove those points because those points on the character is not uh, they are just disappearing very quickly so we can remove it after the solve let's solve this one quickly and see so you can see the result is giving me 1.94 which is not that good and not bad now you can see it's not tracked fully because as i said this motion is there so it's only tracked this here and we are mentioning this frame here okay so that's why let's do the input and let's view the camera track okay we have this camera track let's filter out uh, some bad tracks here let's go to the 
auto track section and here you can see this is the average sol okay and you can see the per frame sol is there so this is the average we have and this is the per frame if you play you can see each frame this value is changing let's remove this red one so delete unsol and delete rejected so these reds are rejected one so these red trackers so remove this one so now we clean it everything here let's go to the camera tracker tab and let's update the sol here now you can see it's reduced the value so let's go back here again and so this is the minimum track length so by default it's like three frame is the minimum length but i want more uh, length so maybe 10 so i want 10 frame whoever have a minimum length of 10 it will be there otherwise they will be get rejected just like you can see the red one is rejected because the length is low you can see the track length is nine and this one is track length is six and this one track length is 10 so all the above 10 will be there and all the below 10 will be removed i mean it will show in a red so we can just filter out like this i, I will do the reject track again go to my camera tracker and update the track again it is reducing but it's not reducing that much because it's need a better tracker better camera track max track error i can actually need to decrease this one so let me put it three and max error maybe six and let's mm -hmm. delete this again go to here and update the sol i think this is uh, good 1.59 and if you go to the auto track you can see the per frame error is 1.6 i mean almost 7 and if i go here 1.8 if i go here it's like 1.9 so i think this is fine let's go to the this menu and let me export and let's see how we can you know, do the further process in the export tab we have a lot of options here okay camera rig camera set uh, scene scene plus point cloud distortion and distort card sphere and the spherical transform okay the most common uh, export type we do is the scene plus is the most and the scene and if you just need a camera you can just do the camera this linking is very important if you think this this camera track is good and you don't need to do any scene scaling then uh, if you just want to export the camera you can just unlink and you can just export add a camera and in the camera you have all the keyframe baked but in this case we actually want uh, this to be linked and the reason is because we are going to do a scene scale because this is not the correct scene scale when you do a camera track in new the default scene scale is there it's not properly scene scale based on a shot i will keep this linked and in the drop down menu i will select the scene plus so the scene plus will include the uh, distortion point cloud and the camera and the scanner render and everything so i will do the scene scale plus and i will just hit create so once i create it's creating all these camera point cloud and uh, lens distortion scene and then scanner render everything is connected so it's like a ready to go uh, setup after this this lens distortion sometimes this works sometimes uh, the camera tracker is calculating lens distortion but it's better to have undistorted plate than you can do the camera track for this demonstration I'm, uh, I'm not doing it i'm just showing you the process you can see it's not doing anything sometimes it's doing something but it, it's better to have an undistorted plate all right now we have this point cloud so this is the point cloud render if i just view from the scene you can see we have very good representation of that scene so the camera is moving like this and you can see these walls this wall character is running from this part and we, we can see the camera is moving like this this is done for uh, if you don't want to do any scene clearing this is done you can use this one uh, but you can see the point are points are going below the card and the camera is looking very big and i mean it's not correct uh, way to you know work so if i take a cube and you can see i just add in the scene okay you clearly see the cube is very very big i mean uh, is in the real life uh, this cube need to be this much big but if i show you in the point cloud it's very very big okay so let's delete this one in this type of scene we need to use some kind of you know reference for the scene scaling so i have this uh, geo this human body geo if i play this one in this scene and if i view so i directly uh, connected this here let me just put this one here okay so we have this uh, geo let me just connect uh, this to this so uh, this geo is very good reference for the scene scale so i'm going to use that and you can see it's not a correct way the camera is going below the grid and it's not properly aligned uh you remember we did uh the what we call where is that delete this one let's view from the scanner render and hit tap so we can see the pointer let me just remove for now in the points just make it one and let me make it two so you can see this better and uh, if i play so this is the camera track we have and point cloud is telling us how good the camera track is it's not perfect because uh, because the error is uh, above point uh, above one and for now it's fine 
let's move on first we need to select the camera tracker okay because uh, the camera is linked everything is linked so whatever you do here it will update in our uh, scene here with the below scene because you already exported right so after exporting you can still uh, do the changes but make sure you have this link output view the camera so you can see all the points and let's go to the setting scene here you can do the you know the scene transformation orientation everything related to the scene and in this in this scale constraint you can specify the scene scale based on the two points uh, for example if you know the distance between this point and this point you can just select and tell how big this is and based on that nuke will automatically do the scene scale i don't want to do that i just uh, i don't know about the length of uh, all these things i just know about this human uh, length is this human guy is a six feet tall so i know that based on that i will do the scene scale manually let's first select some points so first thing we need to set a ground so we need to set the origin point so in, so in this case you can see uh, this is the ground right and in here i can see some points okay so i will use these points so you can see they are they are disabled so you select these two points because they are very close to the ground so you select them right click and when you select any tracker you have a lot of options here okay we can do a lot of things but let's go to the straight row point go to the ground tab and uh, set to selected and you can just select again and do again set to selected and if i go to the uh, 3d space so these points are selected now we need to select one point and you can say go to the ground ground plane and set origin so now that point is in the center of the frame and you can see so see these two uh, points and one of the points are in the center because we selected that point here now we set it the uh, what we call the origin now uh, let's take one model builder node i will tell you why let's take one model builder node and let's connect my camera to camera and let's connect plate to plate here let's view the model builder okay now model builder will uh, lock the camera automatically and in the 3d space you can see your footage grid and everything so if i play here and you can see how the grid is behaving so we set it a grid here in the, in the origin and you can see the origin is set in this location our origin is locked now we need to see how uh, this scene is orientated so we need to fix the rotation for in this case i think it's okay but i want uh, this line I, I will just rotate so you can get the idea what i'm talking about let's go to the camera tracker node in the scene tab we have this rotation so i will rotate in x not the x i think in y so we want to rotate like this so i want uh, this scene i mean the z is going like this so we have this proper line going on in the z space so this is done and if you believe i think this uh, this is the horizontal line so if you want you can just change this one like this and like this but i think in this case it's okay i mean the, everything is okay in this case jump out from the camera you can see all the points are in the above the grid so if i go to the top view and this one and side view you can clearly see now the camera in all the points are properly above the grid and is properly behaving correctly now we set it this one let's add this our model here now the model is very big because you are not uh, scaling the scene still we just you know assigning the origin now the model is in the center of that area we need to go to the camera tracker node go to the scene tab again and here you can see we have this uh, scale okay so this is the actual scene scale if i just increase the number you can see the model is getting smaller and smaller so we are not scaling the model so if i go to the 3d space and then i do that scaling option here you can see we are just scaling that entire scene based on that origin point in the first step what we did we just uh, set the origin point here and based on that point everything is gets scaled up and scaled down you can see all the points and everything gets scaled because everything is linked right this is very very easy way to do the scene scaling in you it's very simple if you have if you need rotation you can just rotate like this it's very very simple see view from my scanner render based on this uh, height of this thing i will scale my so for example i think this thing is like maybe this pick this guy so i will set this one like this and this is done i guess i mean if you have any good reference in the image you can play this one so for example i think this guy will be that much tall in this scene like this and my scene scale is done so i can just uh, add a right geo and i can export this entire scene before exporting make sure this camera have a keyframe currently there is no keyframe because it's linked 
so after doing scene scale because you define the scale and rotation everything here you can go to the camera tracker again unlink this and just export the camera or if you need the entire thing you can do that for now i will do the camera only and if i just press this create it will create a camera and this camera have all that rotation and everything if i go to the 3d space and this so they both are the same camera the only difference is this camera have a keyframe baked in so that is exactly what you want we want a baked keyframe so we can export this uh, to any 3d package so what i will do i will just uh, disconnect this one i will connect this one here and if you need a point cloud and geo so you can i can keep this one in this scene and i can just go to simply here for now i will do a uh, scene scale dot abc so i will do that and i will uh, make sure i do the ogawa if you are using this camera for the blender you need to do this ogawa and just execute specify the frame number I, in this case frame is 125 and just export okay so now we successfully exported that camera uh, so what you can do i can take a camera node here and i can just simply uh, load that file here just read that file here and so this is the scene abc i can just import this one and now we have the camera here now we have the track camera and it's the same camera like we have here and the same way you can just import uh, what you call the read geo and you can just load that file again and uh, we have we don't we don't need to cam we don't need camera i just need that mesh so use that and now we have that geo and we have that camera let's connect this one and uh, let's uh, select this hit scene and we have the same scene that we have above so now we have camera and everything and that's it so this is our scene scale done with the proper uh, positioning orientation a proper uh, scale based on the human geo and everything so this is uh, you supposed to do the proper scene scaling and you can do this kind of you know camera tracking in nuke this is how i do a uh, camera track in nuke i will show you what i did here so the same thing i did a uh, camera track in this shot in this time i get uh, 1.47 camera sol and i place it that same geo in here for some reason the geo is not uh, showing i don't know giving some issue with the usd file so we need to use that uh, geo import so this is the usd based so if you load this uh, geo here it will show so but i'm loading this geo file uh, with the normal read geo i think it's loading but I sometimes it's giving us the glitch and you can use the scene this thing will not connect we need to use that scene uh, geo so this is also a usd base so we need to use that and i'm not sure about the camera camera will connect or not yeah camera is connecting and this is what we have so this is the camera then we can render this one so for the render also we need to use that uh we call the scanner render usd scanner render so we can connect this and connect this camera and now we have this scene and for the bg we can just plug the plate and this is the scene scale of this scene we just need to delete this that's how i did the camera track and this is the output you see just to show you the you know placing the object in a proper 3d space and how it will look in the play and all the points and everything i hope you enjoy so this is like uh want to show you the quick way how to do the proper camera track and scene scaling you uh let me know what do you think uh if you have any questions let me know in the comment in the future i'm planning to uh, do a usd workflow how you can you know do the usd uh, 3d work in nuke uh, make sure to download this uh, file in that file i will include this uh, geo and this uh, small scene setup if you need and so thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one have a great day